Point number two, Superman was a millionaire. We all remember Christopher Reeves. Back in the 70s and 80s, he was the Superman. I still think he was the best Superman. And then in 1985, he had a horrible accident, broke his neck, and he spent the last nine years of his life as a quadriplegic. Now, if you happen to be representing him, and I don't know if there's any litigation as a result of that injury, but if you happen to be representing him in a matter and there was a significant windfall to him, you wouldn't be talking about special needs trusts and you wouldn't be talking about public benefits, but why? Because those two factors that I laid out earlier in the program are not implicated here. He was fully competent, and in fact, he was a vocal advocate for people with disabilities for the balance of his life. So there was no need for a fiduciary, for fiduciary oversight. He didn't need a trustee or a guardian. He could still make decisions. He just needed physical assistance, assistance with his medical needs and personal care needs. Well, shouldn't that also implicate a special needs trust or Medicaid? No because he likely had primary health insurance and was a multimillionaire and could pay privately for whatever he needed. Now, I can tell you that I could get Christopher Reed Medicaid. He would have to relinquish control and access to some of his property. He would have to reconcile himself to the fact that the Medicaid program would have a right of recovery against his estate at the time of his death, but I could get it for him today by use of a special needs trust and shifting some property between and among his family members, him and his wife. But Superman was a millionaire. He didn't need Medicaid. If you have clients who you believe will be able to sustain themselves, perhaps work and collect a Social Security disability check if they reach a point where they can work no longer and they have Medicare benefits as primary health insurance attached to that, you don't have to worry about the impact that your settlement is going to have, because those are not means-tested programs. You get Social Security benefits because you or somebody on your behalf paid into the system. And then Medicare is attached to that. So if you are willing to say that these individuals will be fine with primary health insurance and a Social Security disability check, then you don't have to worry about this. Just think about Superman. 